In 1957, a handsome 23-year-old from Punjab stood in front of the grandees of Hindi cinema music, Anil Biswas, Noshad Ali, Sri Ram Chandra, Vasant Desai and Madan Mohan. A few minutes later, he won a prestigious All India Singing Competition, setting him off on a glorious career in playback singing. The young man was Mahendra Kapoor, who sang some of Hindi cinema's most iconic songs. That he did so in the looming shadows of music greats such as Mahmud Rafi, Kishore Kumar, Talat Mahmood, Manna De and Mukesh, to whom he was between 15 and 5 years junior, gives Mahendra Kapoor a unique place. One of the rewards of the Metro Murphy singing competition in 1957 was that the winner may get to sing a line or two in songs composed by the judges. In Mahendra Kapoor's case, it turned out to be a whole song for Sri Ram Chandra for the movie Navarang, produced and directed by the legendary V. Shantaram. The song was the enduring hit Adha Hai Chandrama Ratazi with Asha Bhosle, who was already a widely successful playback singer by then. This year marks Mahendra Kapoor's 90th birth anniversary. Mayang Chai Report spoke to his singer-actor son Ruhan Kapoor, who continues his father's glorious legacy doing concerts around the world. Now Mahendra Kapoor's grandson Siddhant too has emerged as a successful composer and singer. He joined the conversation as well, Ruhan and Siddhant Kapoor. Welcome to Mayang Chai Reports, uh, Ruhan Bhai. It's a great pleasure to have you. Thank you so much, Vang Bhai. Same here, likewise. It's a great pleasure and honor to be here with you today. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm sure you know this year marks the 90th birth anniversary of your illustrious and gifted father, Mr. Mahendra Kapoor. What is your earliest memory of him as a child? I have beautiful memories with him. If I say, um, right as a child, he was a very caring, a very doting, a very loving father. Extremely loving person. By large, by, by, by his nature, he was a very loving person. And uh, uh, But his one very unique feature, his unique nature was that he never showed his uh, popularity or his, uh, you know, uh, the way people adulated him, loved him. Uh, it never reflected upon his personality anytime, anywhere. But, but uh, unless he was in a show where people are, you know, uh, mocking him and asking for photographs and autographs. But uh, uh, you know, uh, you will be amazed. I must have been in the sixth or seventh standard, and um, the principal of my school, St. Mary's School in Bombay, uh, seemed to have contacted my father by himself and told him that, Mr. Kapoor, we are having an, uh, a show in, in, in uh, the school and we would like to on, on, uh, call you as the chief guest and uh, you want, you should attend there. So my father agreed to that and uh, I little did I know that this was happening. We all knew that something is happening in the auditorium there. But then uh, suddenly when uh, my father came from the window of my class, I was seeing a lot of teachers suddenly running towards, uh, towards him and asking for autographs and you know there was a photographer kept to take photographs with him and this thing and I'm wondering why is why is everyone troubling my father like that? <laughs> it was hard enough. And and till a, a, a very, very late age I would say I realized or I even came to know that uh, he is such a famous personality. And uh, the teachers were gaga over him, and the students, you know, the our seniors, of course, they knew what he was. We were all too, too young kids. We were, we didn't know, you know. But uh, it's a mizaj tha. He's a very simple soul, a very, very down to earth person. He would never, he would never, um, uh, I mean, he was never a pompous or a, or a proud of his work. Never, never. You know, I was watching some of his interviews in the run up to our conversation. Uh, it struck me that he was such a amiable, very low key, almost shy person when he didn't sing. Uh, there was a particular conversation yeah. between him and his dear friend, uh, Mr. Amin Sayani, that I watched on Sayadri yes. TV. Uh, they, yes. they were very close friends, I know for a fact. So, yes. But 
you know, it was almost as if Amin Bhai had to extract words out of your father's <laughs> mouth. He was that low key. So is, is that your impression? Obviously, you, you grew up with him. So is that what you remember too? Uh, absolutely, uh, my boy. We used to, uh, you know, at some times he amazed us. Uh, we used to, uh, like, um, uh, I'll tell you a unique thing here. I mean, his his modesty, his humility went to, to like, sometimes it's ju just, uh, uh, you would say, being read in storybooks or, or in moral stories somewhere. And he really led the type of a life. I uh, very often I, I hear about Dr. Abdul Kalam, our ex president, and I remember my father so often that you know there there was there was so many similarities and great people that uh, he was he was he was such a noble soul, he was such a noble soul. He was more concerned about his staff, about his assistants, about his, and at the same time very jovial person. He was not a very serious person, a very jovial person. He would laugh. He was a terrific mimicry artist. He could mimic anyone. <laughs> yeah. He was a very good mimicry artist. Yeah, yeah. Us show ke baad to sare hamare jitne wo musicians hote the, they used to wait. Ke papa ji show ke baad aayenge. They see the my father normally used to tell them that you all get together, have a drink because he was a teetotaler. So aap log drink karo. Main aunga wah. I'll spend some time with you. Then I leave for my hotel and you people enjoy yourselves. But they used to not drink in front of him. So he knew, okay, oh. being enjoying the game, if I will be here. So he would go there and he would wait. Papa Ji, this organizer, what are your peculiarities? So he would imitate people, he would imitate uh, some character who we met in the morning, or someone who came to receive him at the airport. He he would, he was like, a, he had a camera type of a thing, you know, he used to capture images and he, he would, uh, yeah. And he, it was terrific. I mean, he was something like that. At the same time, Extremely humble, extremely down to earth, very, very yeah. grounded person. You know, it's an very interesting, it's very interesting segue for me because in that same interview, uh, Mr. Sayani speaks of your father being an excellent act, stage actor and a terrific with a terrific comic timing. Yeah, uh, yeah. Which which prompts me to ask you, uh, why is it that you think he didn't also take to uh, the life of an actor? <laughs> I think it was my mother. <laughs> it, was, it was my mother and his family. See, I'll tell you, he was he was a he was always a singer in St. Xavier's College. That's the college that he was a St. Xavier student, uh, a school student, as well as his college, uh, St. Xavier's College student. So when he came into college and uh, they had that Sangeet Natya, that academy what you know, the children they do there. So he was very, very popular. In, in his college for uh, as being a singer. At the same time, uh, there was a, a very, very popular director who was his uh, colleague, uh, Vijayanand, Devanand Sahib's brother. Yes. So Vijayanand Sahib was at the same time in, in, this, in the college uh, as a fabulous director of, of plays. Now, he was looking for someone who was good, 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 who was good. And uh, his eye went on my father when he was singing. So my father used to sing, and in those days, Talat Sahib songs or Rafi Sahib songs or you know whichever the popular singers were in those days. So he used to say, Mahinder, your 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 diction, every word you speak is so clear, and so so uh, uh, you know you you are you are very clear in your diction and and your expressions are so beautiful. Why did you try your hand at acting? So my father told him outrightly, No, no, Goldie. They used to call him Goldie. Mm -hmm. This is not my cup of tea. I'm I'm a singer. I know I'm a performer, but uh, I don't think I can act. He says, "Why are you deciding that? Let me decide that." Yeah, okay. So the first play they did together was called Rehearsal, and oh. that 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 play did so well, man, by so well that it came in the intercollegiate, uh, you know, in the main in the mainstream in the inter intercollegiate, and they went to Delhi, and this play. Won the award, and dad got the award by Jawaharlal Nehru Sahib. Oh, really? <laughs> yes, as a best actor. It was a comedy play. No, that's that's quite remarkable. You know, I'm glad you mentioned that because uh, to digress a little bit before I get into the main questions and come back to 
Uh, one simple fact that in 1957, he won the All India Singing Competition, where, where the judges were absolute masters of the domain. You had Anil oh, yes. you had Noshad, you had Madan Mohan, you had Vasan Desai, and you had Sri Ram Chandra. Now, these were the Jee. giants of the day. And yes. to, to win in front of them meant absolutely everything for a young singer like your father. So he won as an actor <laughs> later on uh, in, in college, but before that, he had already won a very major contest, which led to his career. What, what Did he ever talk to you about that? Uh, see, he was his in chronology. He uh, after he, during his colleging days, mm -hmm. uh, he was already very popular, and then uh, it was almost towards the end of his college time that that this uh, Metro Murphy contest came up. I see. And uh, th at that time, um, a friend of his, uh, his name was Surinder Kapoorji, Gee. who without even informing him, filled his name and sent the form. And told him, Ke Mahinder, I know you are a fabulous singer and I want you to participate in this competition. So my father got a little bit uh, amused at him. Are you crazy? That's an all India competition. Where do you think I would stand? There are such brilliant singers today. So he said, What is a hum and trying? Right. So he said, Okay. And then he tried and he, he passed from you know the state level, then he came to the country level, and then he was he was awarded the, the Metro Murphy Award, of yeah. course. Right. And uh at that time, then immediately after that, he got, uh, uh, you know, work from uh, Noshad Saab and uh, uh, first thing was from Sri Ramchandraji and Datta Saab. And Datta Saab gave him uh, uh, a lot of work. So uh, when he when he recorded for Navrang, which was, was his, his, uh, his uh, very first film, and big hit, big hit, big hit. So after that, V. Shantaramji became after him. That Mahinder, you are such a good looking singer. I want you to play uh, the main lead in my film. Achha. So, <laughs> uh, and that, and that film was uh, uh, Patthar. Uh, what is that? Uh, in the film in which Jitendra Saab became the uh -huh. hero. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, I'm sorry. Uh, uh -huh. I, I'm sure will will a little come back, but I know which one you mean. Huh. And and <laughs> and my, my father came back home. And he was already married. He was married very young in our family. Okay. In those days, it, that, that's how it used to be. And my wife, she, she, my, my, his wife, that's my mother. She, she got a little low. And my grandparents said, "No, Mahinder, you are very good as a singer. Stay a singer. Don't, don't go venture into acting and all that, beta. Then you know you'll, you'll be limited only as an actor singer. Don't do that. Emphasize on your singing career. You are a brilliant singer. <laughs> so then he had to tell uh, no to. Uh, uh, yeah, 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 yeah. In, you know, to talk about a very important friendship association. Sorry, Geet Gaya Patroni. Geet Gaya the, Patroni. The yeah, film yeah. was Geet Gaya Patroni. Yes. Yeah, yeah, so he was offered yeah. the, the lead role in Geet Gaya Patroni. That's then later on, I didn't know that. Yeah. Yeah. You know, to come Sorry. back to something which I am sure has been in your family for a long time, uh, his great association, great friendship, great admiration, and great influence, Mohammad Rafi Saab. Uh, yes. they, they were separated by 10 years. Mohammad Rafi was born in 1924, your father in 34. So there was a gap of 10 years between the two. Yes. Uh, yes. In fact, uh, uh, Kapoor Saab said in interview that when he was 10-11 years old, yeah. So their association was a very long association for quite some time. Tell me, what are your memories of your father talking about the great Muhammad Rafi? Uh, and what do you remember the most in terms of the striking association between these two remarkable singers? My, my his association with Rafi Saab, with Rafi, I would say, um, was something beyond. There are words uh, I, I, in vocabulary which I could I could mention. The first song he heard of Rafi Sahab uh, was, uh, you know, uh, with an, uh, the, uh, he was singing with a duet with Noor Jahanji, Madam Noor Jahanji. Yaha badla 
वफा का बेवफाई के सिवा क्या है मोहब्बत करके भी देखा मोहब्बत में भी धोखा है सॉन्ग दैट दैट फ्लोर माई फादर एंड ही सेट के मेरे जैसे रोम रोम में वो आवाज जो थी वो गूंजनी शुरू हो गई आई फेल इन लव दिस वॉइस एंड इन दो डेज इट वॉज नॉट सो इजी मीडिया वॉज नॉट सो इलेबरेट people were not so popular people knew who the singers were or more or less but it was not like you know the big big thing uh, so cinema and celebrities nahi tha ji yeah i'm talking about 1947 yeah so my father could became a divine follower of this voice unknowing that who the singer is and us uh, zamane mein record jisko tawa bolte the us zamane mein oh tawa lagi aayi tawa punjabi ji oh tawa lagi aayi tawa ha to uske end mein uh wo singer jo the he used to say maine main mohammad rafi noor jahan ji se main noor jahan matlab the singers used to pronounce your name ji yeah the, the label never even mentioned their name earlier it was it was so ye ye cheez lata ji ne shuru karwai thi ke singers ka naam hona chahiye uske upar in india एंड मई भाई उस जमाने में उन्होंने ही केम फ्रॉम तो ही शू गो टू स्कूल एंड देन ही गो टू नो कि ये जो सिंगर हैं जनाब मोहम्मद रफी साहब हैं एंड ही शू राइट रफी रफी इन द बुक्स एंड ये बड़ी मार भी खाई उन्होंने तो कैथलिक टीचर बेचारी समझती नहीं थी अरे तुम क्या पागल है हम जोग्राफी सिखाता है तुम रफी रफी लिखते हैं कौन है ये रफी वो भी बच्चे थे बोले कुछ नहीं वो चुप रहते थे अब नकिल पे मार रहे हैं वो रो रहे हैं लेकिन वो फिर भी अप, अपने वो अपनी उसमें से हरकतों से बाज नहीं आए वो उनका एक लड़का था उनके साथ जो बैठता था वो मुस्लिम बॉय तो उसने बोला कपूर आई थिंक दिस जेंटलमैन दिस नेम साउंड्स लाइक अ मुस्लिम नेम दैट सेड ही मस्ट बी तो ही सेड के मैं आई लास्ट माय फादर इफ आई कैन गेट यू इज वुड यू लाइक टू मीट हिम कहता यू आर आस्टिव कहता वो दैट वुड बी द ग्रेटेस्ट थिंग इन माई लाइफ तो उसने कहीं से पता किया My dad went to one Muhammad Rafi Sahab who was who had a laundry, and uh, my father told me, "I want to talk to you." And uh, I said, "Bitta, what for?" He said, "I love your music." He said, "But I am a laundry man. I am not on." So he understood that dad was in search of Muhammad Rafi Sahab who was a singer. And from there, he went to the Bindi Bazaar and got his address. Dad was a very loving child. He was a very big rollu polu, very chubby child. He said, "This child is a very loving child. He is a very nice child. I will find him an address and give it to him." तो बेटा दो दिन के बाद आना मैं अब आपको सही एड्रेस दूंगा आपके मोहम्मद रफी का तो डैड वेंट देयर टू रफी साहब एंड रफी साहब एंड इज एल्डर ब्रदर द पर्सन हु एक्चुअली मेड वेरी फ्यू पीपल स्पीक अबाउट हिम वेरी फ्यू पीपल नो अबाउट हिम बट द एक्चुअल पर्सन हु मेड रफी साहब वाज हमीद भाई इज एल्डर ब्रदर ही वाज द फाउंडेशन ऑफ रफी साहब ही वाज द पर्सन हु गॉट रफी साहब फ्रॉम लाहौर टू बॉम्बे एंड ही यूज्ड टू वर्क इन द रेलवेज and was a very very close family friend of rafi saab family in lahore so uh, they were not very literate people there in his uh, rafi saab family so they were very scared ki hum kaise bete ko bhejenge how will he go to bombay and what what will happen so hamid bhai ne pehal ki aur unhone kaha ki nahi ye mere bhai samaan hai chota main isko leke jata hu bombay and i will i will see whatever i can do for him there so hamid bhai got him here to rafi saab and then unko sab milaya ron noshad saab se and you know uh, pandit sham sundar ji se and all these composers who were there that time right so coming back to our story our dad went to meet rafi saab in the midst of the 1947 chaos that was happening in india the partition and all the jhagde jhugde jo ho rahe the lekin hamid bhai and rafi saab got an instant fancy for my father so my father went there unke sath unse taaleem li and for many years rafi saab and my father became inseparable <clears throat> Rafi Sahab used to call, come to our house. He used to come to meet my grandparents. He was very fond of good food, Punjabi ah, food. जी. So Rafi Sahab would phone करते थे मेरी grandmother को बिजी पटवरे छोले खाने बस ये आज ही लस्सी पीनी है लस्सी का बड़ा शौक मन को. अच्छा. तो ये बना रे Rafi Sahab आओ ना तो आके बड़े प्यार से भजन भी सुनाते थे मेरे grandparents को और जब वो recordings पे जाया करते तो dad वो बिजी को phone बिजी स्कूल तो आ गया पंजाबी में बोलते थे बड़ा धीमे बात करते थे दैट्स व्हाट माय फादर टोल्ड मी मी वेरी वेल पीजी स्कूल तो आ गया 
ਬੀਨੇ ਕਿਹਾ ਹਾਂ ਜੀ ਰਫੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਸਕੂਲ ਤੋਂ ਆ ਗਿਆ ਤੇ ਕੋਈ ਟਿਊਸ਼ਨ ਵਗੈਰਾ ਤੇ ਨਹੀਂ ਬੋਲਾ ਨਹੀਂ ਰਫੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਤੇ ਥੱਲੇ ਭੇਜ ਦਿਓ ਉਹਨੂੰ ਅੱਜ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗ ਜਾਣਾ ਮੈਂ ਤੇ ਹਾਂ ਤੋ ਸਰਵੈਂਟ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਟੇਕ ਦੈਟ ਇਨ ਅ ਸ਼ਾਰਟ ਪੈਂਟਸ ਐਂਡ ਅ ਟੀ ਸ਼ਰਟ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਸਟੈਂਡ ਡਾਊਨ ਐਂਡ ਰਫੀ ਸਾਹਿਬ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਗੈਟ ਹਿਸ ਕਾਰ ਐਂਡ ਪਿਕ ਅਪ ਦੈਟ ਐਂਡ ਦੈਨ ਦੇ ਯੂਸ ਟੂ ਗੋ ਫੋਰ ਰਿਕਾਰਡਿੰਗਸ ਐਂਡ ਥਿਸ ਕੰਟੀਨਿਊਸ ਫੋਰ ਇਅਰਸ yeah but yeah. it was not a small issue it was a long term issue i know you know that, that, yeah i that's why i asked i, I you know you were born in 65 right um, uh, me yeah i was born in 60 so, in 60 uh, yeah that basically you you saw rafisa for throughout your early teen and teens and perhaps late teens you had uh, you saw yeah. the up close yeah uh, tell me uh, what you remember of that great man well uh, see he was a man of very few words bahut kam bolte the mere mundan pe aaye the acha and uh, daddy invited him for a, my mundan party and uh, it was in a very beautiful hotel in bombay it was called the natraj hotel on marin drive i i know that yes ha uh, ji to aake upar aaye hall pe asha ji bhi thi madan mohan ji the bahut industry aayi thi to uh, aake that when he was leaving i told aao paaji main aapko niche gaadi se chhod ke aata hu by that time dad was already very popular so the nahi mindar koi baat nahi dad will nahi aap chalo he insisted and he went down to leave him so when they came down to the lobby and he saw that large chandelier and everything you know so beautiful he is telling my father mindar ya tu bahut jaldi itna paisa kama liya itna sundar ghar bana liya tune to dad bhai kaun sa dad ye ghar nahi bangla nahi tumhara dad bhai ye to hotel le jaa aap aayo ye mera bangla chhod ke a uh, very noble very simple person and uh, dad ne bhi gaadi mein bithaya aur fir wapas aa gaye to matlab i mean we have beautiful memories he came for all my sister's weddings he used to come aur bahut pyar tha aise eid pe unhone biryani bhej deni hamare ghar pe khana saviya bhej diya hum diwali pe dad used to take sweets and go to his house it is very 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 loving very beautiful yeah you know your father began with a blockbuster hit aadha chandrama aadha ya raat aadhi yes sri ram chandra it was a huge hit which it still resonates after these many decades uh Gee. did he did he ever mention uh, those early days to you while as you were growing up uh, did he ever discuss how tough or how easy it was for him to become what he became <clears throat> i think maybe it was really tough it was very tough because the standard of music was very high in those days it was not only uh, the popular singers if you hear several interviews of all the singers whether it was kishor da whether it was rafi sahab mainly to name and my father they would all say that there are such nice beautiful voices who never saw it on the silver screen but but god was kind to us and our voices and we have been able to express ourselves through our music and our voices have reached every house but uh, it was a very tough time and um, so were the composers who were very well read very educated in music each one of them was a was actually a master by himself i would say right and uh, yes and they were uh, i was it, it was um, a, a lot of uh, your capability uh, your uh, your good behavior your uh, your you know your etiquette in the in the studios in the thing which a lot of things mattered at the time right and like today's time and everything was live because i have seen recordings as a child where two to 200 musicians are sitting and my father is singing over there and and you had hair raising voice in the monitor room because of uh, like you know with whether it was ravi ji musicator ravi ji uh, lakshmigan parelal or nayar saab or any of them the big star kalyan ji anji to inke bahut sare musician hua karte the bahut sare can you imagine or jo musicians ke uh, hall mein just the, the capability you can imagine from there that the flute is pandit hari prasad chaurasia who is a maestro today right on the on the on the, the santur shivkumar ji who was who was again a maestro table right. pe ustad kareem khan saheb used to be there sitar pe raiz khan sahib used to be there so this was the 100 musicians so this was the standard of music in those days they were Absolutely. each one of them is a master by himself right so each right. one of them is a legend by himself so it was a it was a 
क्या बोले हिंदी में बोले समागम ऑफ ऑफ लेजेंड्स महान लोगों का एक समागम था बिल्कुल और उसमें ऐसा म्यूजिक बनता था इतना डरते थे लोग अब अब पूरे गाने में देख लो हरि प्रसाद जी का जो चंद सेकेंड्स का पीस होगा पंडित इनका आपके रईस खान साहब का चंद सेकेंड्स के पीसेस होंगे ऐसा बट ऐसा हेयर एजिंग परफॉर्मेंस देते थे वो लोग ये लोग वाह 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 करते थे क्या हा क्या पीस बजाए क्या मतलब और ऐसी तवज्जो थी लोगों की ऐसी लोगों का ऐसे लोगों की सोच थी कि बस मैं अभी जीत के निकलूंगा यहाँ से मैं सबका दिल जीत के निकलूंगा यहाँ से और हर एक का जो ये कॉम्पिटिशन थी ना इतनी हेल्दी थी उसके कारण ये संगीत इतना खूबसूरत बना बिल्कुल बिल्कुल सही कह रहे हैं आप यू नो योर फादर हैड रेमिनिस्ड अबाउट द रिकॉर्डिंग ऑफ आधा है चंद्रमा श्री राम चंद्र अपेंटली वो एट द बैक एंड योर फादर्स वॉइस वाज इन रीचिंग सो ही केप्ट सेइंग कट एवरी फ्यू सेकंड फाइनली केम अ फ्रंट एंड ही सेड इन से नहीं हो पा रहा ये नहीं गा पाएंगे तब आशा जी ने कहा ये बहुत अच्छा गा रहे हैं आप ऐसा क्यों कह रहे हैं आप यहां खड़े होकर सुनिए and then they realized the cable to the microphone had come off yes i think it happened yeah and the voice wasn't reaching uh, sri ram chandra and he couldn't figure out why he was so nervous when he was not nervous yeah. at all he was singing extremely yeah. well yeah so those and, and, were the challenges even, uh, in those days ah true very true and anna abra se both was there sri ram chandra ji and vishantaram both were there vishantaram ji come to to he asked anna in marathi जो so the assistant recorders ne jo wall mein plug karte hain usko ji the wire that cable came from the microphone to the wall was not plugged properly so he pulled oh, it out and pushed it back in and he said suddenly the voice became so beautiful he said oh i'm so sorry his booming voice so it was asha ji asha asha aunty uh, uh, you know uh, interference i would say or rather her 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 gesture of of uh, of They're telling that no, don't don't do that because this boy is singing very well. So right. uh, she she it was it was. Kapoor Sahab ne to ye kaha ki shayad agar wo nahi hota to meri career usi waqt khatam honi thi. Absolutely right. Because the impression पड़ जाता कि लड़का तो मैं माइक्रोफोन पे आ गया नर्वस हो जाता है. जी. बिल्कुल बिल्कुल. You know, interestingly, uh, I was again going through your father's filmography. Uh, he was intrinsic to the golden era which is the 1960s uh i mean we can go through any number of songs but a couple of things jumped out at me uh, your father had some of the finest songs with ravi and sahir ladianvi uh aaj subah aaj subah main ga raha tha gana sansar ki har shay ka itna hi fasana hai what a fantastic song what a fantastic uh, lyrics dekhi unki i mean it it it's a It, to me, it's the same philosophical brilliance as my zindagi ka saath nibata chala gaya. In Bilkul. terms of what? Tell me something. Uh, did Fat? Did uh, Mr. Kapoor ever discuss his uh, career uh, singing as he, as you were growing older, you were becoming aware of what good singing is. You were obviously looking at something similar. In geeton ki kabi aap ke saath baat hoti thi unki? Yeah. See. that era demanded a lot of hard work uh, mein bhai ji yeah. um uh, whether it was writers whether it was composers whether it was singers everybody used to pull, put in 100% of themselves or probably 110% of themselves like uh, when uh, ravi uncle after my father passed away in 2008 my son sidant who is also a composer with your blessings he and i went to meet ravi uncle he you know at his bungalow he invited किसी शो के लिए जाना था हमने तो उन्होंने बुलाया था वहां पर मुझे बंदे पे तो भी वो तो उन्होंने बातें करनी शुरू कर दी कहते रोहन डीनो चलो एक बार फिर से अजनबी बन जाए हम दोनों इसकी मैंने बयालीस धुने बनाई थी फोर्टी टू ट्यून अच्छा कहते फोर्टी सेकेंड ट्यून दे अप्रूव और कहते हैं उसमें इतनी अच्छी अच्छी धुने बनी जो कहते हैं उसके बाद निकाह में मैंने जितनी धुने बनाई वो सब उनकी रिजेक्ट थी जो 
उस टाइम की इज्जत थी मेरी या तो आई मीन दैट वॉज द टाइप ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एंड देन लाइक अब डैड ने गा दिया उनके साथ वो जी रिहर्सल की उन्होंने अब जैसे रिहर्सल उनकी खत्म हुई कि चोपड़ा साहब की एंट्री हुई या बी आर चोपड़ा साहब की यश जी तो वही होते थे यश जी यू नेवर लीव यू नो ही वाज एडिक्टेड टू म्यूजिक एंड एंड एवरीवन माय फादर ऑफ कोर्स तो उन वो बैठे रहते थे इतनी देर में चोपड़ा साहब आए बी आर चोपड़ा साहब ओ यार मंदिर मैं सुनना है यार एक मेरी प्लीज फेथ तो सुना दे तो डैड अगेन सिंग द सेम सॉन्ग अब वो खत्म हुआ वाह 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 इतनी देर में किसी और की एंट्री हो गई एक बार एक बार और एक बार और बस एक बार इतने नहीं बार वो एक बार एक और एक बार और हो जाता था माइक्रोफोन आई नेवर स्क्रिप्ट आई न्यू दॉन्ग माई हार्ट आई रिमेम्बर दॉन्ग माई हार्ट की भाई बट वॉट यूज टू हैपन वॉज यू आर जस्ट ब्रशिंग योर सेल्फ एंड ब्रशिंग योर आर्ट एंड ब्रशिंग योर आर्ट सो दैट 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 एंड विदाउट एनी यू नो it was it was never a burden it was more Absolutely. a pleasure it Absolutely. was more a pleasure yeah chalo phir gaate hain chalo phir gaate hain bada maza aata tha it was a very right. yeah I, i i mean i mean how to describe that era is no, very i difficult. can imagine that i can imagine that you know uh, uh, yeah. these are difficult uh, and personal decisions but i'm going to stick my neck out and say that from your father's extraordinary career three songs which to me are perhaps his greatest one of course maine abhi bataya aapko sansar ki ya shay ka the second yeah. one uh, uh, was uh, uh, chalo ek baar phir se ajnabi ban jaye hum dono terrific yes. writing uh, and to me perhaps mr kapoor's greatest song was aap aaye to khayal e dil e nashad aaya he uh-huh. he put apps in fact i mean i'm saying that as a tribute to him that mohammad rafi would have been happy to hear the way he sang that song he, he, he was that brilliant in that song so uh, what are so, your choices these are my choices of course there is much to choose from but the three but, songs these are the songs do you know ma'am i ji you just said what actually happened Achha. when this song came out rafi sahab used to call up my father mr yaar aisa gaya kitna acha gaya He used oh. to be very fascinated by soft, soft singing of my father. Achha. In fact, uh, even there was another song if you remember, "Enda ta gatha bhool sakta hai bala kaun ye pyari aankhe." Very ah. soft and very tender song. Shashi Kapoor sahab ke liye gaya tha unhone. Yeah. And uh, Dharam Putra ka tha. Ha ha. Ab uske release hote hi agle din Rafi sahab ka phone aaya. Par kabhi kabhi wo mitha, wo thali aaya thi thi mithai ki unki ke mandir itna soft gaya tu yaar bada maza aaya mujhe. <laughs> bada Achha. mujhe acha laga. Ha. बिकॉज uh, प्यार तो बहुत है ना आपस में इन दोनों का एंड फॉर अ लॉन्ग टाइम मिस्टर कपूर यूज टू बी कॉल्ड सॉर्ट ऑफ अनदर मोहम्मद रफी इन टर्म्स ऑफ द वे दे वर वेरी सिमिलर बट आई थॉट योर फादर एट अ मच मोर रोबस्ट वॉइस वेन इट केम टू सम ऑफ द सॉन्ग्स या डैट बिगैन हिज करियर जर्नी ऑफकोर्स बाय हिज आइडियल वॉज रफी साहब आई अनडिस्प्यूटेडली but then he was also very influenced by the western singers exactly. they, they are they, they are very open throated they are very they are very uh, they, they their expressions are open their voice is open and and he used to love that style also so he used to experiment a lot on those styles now if you if you the same voice which is singing a chalo ek baar phir se aur aap aaye to khayal e dil e nashad aaya and suddenly you hear a you know thande thande pani se nahana chahiye aur hamari desh ki dharti Or sing they two different? Uh, मतलब it's it's so different. And today's time, we would say two different legends would be singing that that, that those styles exactly. of songs, you know, exactly. those those genre of songs. But they had they had covered such a big compass, such a big uh, the rainbow was so big of so many colors they had in in their voices that it was it was difficult to uh, put them in a niche type of a thing. That oh, he can only sing this type of song. It was not like that. Of course, he yeah. became popular. Uh, he would say, of course, that yeah, the patriotism ne mujhe bahut popular karti hai. Again, <laughs> again, he used to personally love uh, these uh, beautiful, uh, meaningful uh, songs, and uh, right, uh, you'll right. be even happy to know that the song that you like, "Sansar Ki Harshe Ka," was one of his own personal favorites. Oh, acha, how nice! Yeah, no, you could like you could feel that the the singer has put his soul into this song. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
you can you can figure you know when you hear that you can immediately know that sub yahan sab unhone nichod ke dal diya yeah uh so you talked about patriotism uh mere desh ki dharti of course one has to talk about yeah. that he won the national award for that and yeah. he had a particular uh, affinity with kalyan ji anand ji although i don't think he sang a lot of his songs their songs but uh uh upkar was the epitome for mr kapoor what yeah. do you remember of mere desh ki dharti Uh, see mere desh ki dharti story goes from here uh, i would just tell you that manoj kumar sahab was working in a film called shaheed which was based on the life of bhagat singh sahab the first one of which was made in black and white and my father sang that iconic song mera rang de pasanti chola great song with the first mukesh ji and yeah but uh, that time uh, and if, if you see the film there are some very sensitive soft parts where bhagat singh is alone on the terrace or in the jail when he is uh, hit by the britishers and and you know he's remembering his parents and his life so uh, that those parts he wanted my father to sing with complete passion because it was going to be picturized on manoj ji which was bhagat singh of course so my father put in so much of his his, uh, his if you hear them manoj ji still manoj andal still tells me ki ron I, i i get tears in my eyes the way mahendra ji sang that you know that that recording finished and i promised him there and then and when i make my first film mr ji the most powerful the best song of the film will be yours of course and you will sing you will always be my voice so it was from that film that his uh, his, uh, his association with with manoj kumar ji started and uh, yeah and he and then then of course upkar came upkar was his first production and direction manoj kumar ji as an actor he had done so several films but uh, as a director and producer that was his first film exactly vip production and that was yeah, yeah, but that yeah, became yeah. such a big mega hit such a big hit that uh, today sometimes they call mere desh ki dharti the second anthem of india indeed indeed that's yeah. true yeah in fact yeah. it, it is sung more than the national anthem sometimes <laughs> yeah, yeah. In, in popular imagination acha mujhe ek baat bataiye rohan bhai ye inki dosti vijay anand se thi college ke dino se uh for some reason i i could be completely wrong but did he sing for sd burman your father not much not much aisa kyun hua aapko pata hai i but i'm curious know. he he was very uh, fascinated and he loved uh, burman da a lot my father used to in fact on the stage when i used to when i started singing with him on shows he used to make me sing a lot of burman da songs he used to love burman da so and in fact he loved He loved the song that Ravi Sahab sang most for S. D. Burman. He used to say, "I loved that voice, that entire thing. It, 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 it used to give him a different high." So he used to love all those died and all, all the songs that he had sung for him. Interesting. So, uh, but uh, by the time my father's career actually took off, if you realize, yeah. Burman Das's career had already started taking a little. Yeah, it, it was a big. And, yeah, and, that's true. Yeah, and those days, na, uh, these composers. Uh, Were such strong personalities when they when they fell in love with like if 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 their their thoughts revolved around Kishore or revolved around Rafi Sam Kishore da or Rafi Sam they they would they would think that way they would call them and it was not that he did not like probably Lata ji sang less for him it was and Lasha ji sang more it was not that they, they revered every singer as much but right. it just that their thoughts matched uh, that singer's uh, exactly you no. Know, Uh, so it was. I think it. It was. They are all incidental things, uh, yeah. which of course people cook up a lot of stories and make a lot of this and all that. But there's yeah, nothing true to that. It is just that yeah. these people are passionate. Are yeah. pa- passionate to. They were passionate to a different level, yeah. and and they believed in what they they composed. Just one more thing about your father, and then I want to ask you about uh, your singing. Uh, uh, if when you think of your father's career. Uh, If I were to wake you up in the middle of the night and say, "Ruhan, why dad ka kaun sa gana apko yaad aa gaya? Batayiye." So, what do you think will come to your mind? <laughs> That's a good question, Mr. Bhai. Yes, yes. Unka encyclopedia itna bada bada mushkil tha. Unka index itna bada tha. इसलिए पूछ रहा हूँ मैं. It depends on my mood. <laughs> if I had a fight with my wife and slept, I would say, "Chalo, ek baar fir se jab bhi ban jaye hum." 
if I, if I had a thought of something else, probably I would say, kisi patthar ki murat se mohabbat ka irada hai. Uh, yeah, probably. Yeah. But of course, these songs were so beautiful, as you rightly yeah. said. Yeah. That, you, know, uh, you know, sometimes I burst into songs like, Aja re mere pyaar ke rahi, Aja niharu badi ter se. Chitilup ji. Chitilup. Yeah, from uh, uh, Uchelo, right? Aji. Aji. The, in, in that movie, Mohammed Rafi had, to my mind, what is one of his greatest songs, Jag Dile Divana. Uh, uh, sometimes I wish your father had also sung that because it's it's a it's a really great song. Jag Dile Divana Ruchai Basle Yarki. No, anyway, so uh, I, I want to come to your, uh, you've been singing, I mean, you've been doing a lot of concerts and shows, etc. But you did start as an actor. Yes. Why did why didn't you persist with that uh, career? Maybe I uh, see I started very very young. I was barely 16, 17 when uh, I joined Manoj Kumar Sahab as an assistant director in the film Kranti. Ji. That was when I finished my schooling and I was about to do colleging. And okay. in that meantime, there was a there was a there was a gap that you know uh, of six seven months that children did like whatever wasted time or did something good or whatever. And my father, being a very sweet and modest person, but was a very disciplined person, he told me, I don't want you loitering around. You tell me what you want to do. I said I would love to assist someone as because I I was very fascinated by the uh, making of films. Hmm. And I joined Manoj Kumarji very gracefully. He accepted me as an assistant. I did the film Kranti as an assistant director with him. I became a pet of Dilip Kumar Sahab, Shashi Kapoor, Manoj Kumarji. It was a very big film. Kranti was one of the, after Shole, I think is the biggest mega film that was made in India. And um, I was privileged to be a part of it. And I started I met Shafi Nandar Sahab. He was a very, 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 very popular and a very respected uh, theatre director. Indeed. So when I, I met him and I did my first play uh, with him, it was called uh, uh, Neela Kamra. And uh, jo saath meri badi bhabi bani thi, it was a Bhabi and Devar ki story. Thi wo. Uh, she lives in the United States of America. I hope she sees the show. Uh, she is uh, Helena Luke. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Helena, Helena ji, she, she, yeah, she was my co star. And she loved me like a younger brother, of course. I, I we had, uh, she was very fond of me. And um, I, I had a very beautiful time that him. Then I did a second play with him, Ada. It was uh, Neela Ka. Then Neela Kamra, Ada. I was to do Aksha with him. In the meantime, yes, she selected me for the, my first film called uh, Fast Lay. Yes, Shobra Sahib gave me my break as a, as a actor in uh, the film Fast Lay, the lead role, of course. Ji, I remember that, yes. And then uske baad I did Love It Is Ek, Simandar, Mera Naseeb, and a couple of films. Right. 90s, mein kuch daur jo tha, jab, this was the mid 80s, I would say, or late 80s, mein shuru hua, 85 se kariya shuru hua mera. Pekin, uh, kuch mahol ya thik nahi chal raha tha. And then probably the, you may call it, that's one way of seeing it, or probably call it destiny or whatever it was. But I reached, gradually I started shying away from this, uh, oh, this sure. thing. In the meantime, my father uh, he used to do a lot of shows. Of course, he was he, he used to love doing shows, and show business was his, his uh, passion. So, many organizers have said, ji, we know Rohan Singh, and he's youth of today, and he's popular with the young children. So, why don't you call him along with you in the show? So, it'll be like a father and son thing, and you know, he can sing the popular dance numbers and whatever he wants to sing. And you can do your act, and you know it'll be it'll be lovely for audiences. So, wo baap bitta ki jo jodi ko pata nahi hazaro kitne shows hum logon ne saath mein kiye milke world over. And ah, uh, so mingi jo music ka jo mera passion tha, fir wahan par nikla hai. So I Achha. never missed anything. I enjoyed every phase. <laughs> and then, like, you have playback karne ki nahi sochi, kyunki aapki. That was the most unfortunate I... part. Ji. That is the most unfortunate part. Sab mere dost the. Us zamane mein jitne composers the sab mere dost the. Right, beginning from Adesh. Adesh began his career with my with my father as a drummer. So he, he and I were same age and we were like friends. Jatin Lalit were my friends. Anu Mal, Anu Kapoor, apna Anu uh, Malik was my friend. Jitne maaf zamane composers sab mere dost yaad the. Lekin kabi socha hi nahi. 
इतना शोज में हम लोग बिजी थे इतने हम लोग वहां पर रुके बोलते ना लाइव ऑडियंसेस का इतना चस्का चढ़ गया था हमको कि इस तरह ध्यान ही नहीं दिया मैंने एंड अभी भी लेट नहीं अभी भी कर रहे हैं अब तो माहौल चेंज हो गया है मैं म्यूजिक का ही माहौल चेंज हो गया है देखिए मालिक ने चाहा तो कुछ करेंगे हम मेरा बेटा भी आपके ब्लेसिंग से सिद्धांत एज अ मास्टर मैं उनसे भी बात करूंगा अभी यू नो यू मेंशन मास्टर सुधी की पूरी हां यू मेंशन यूसुफ साहब रामचंद्र के आगे सियासे कल्याण जी भाई आनंद जी भाई यूसुफ साहब एंड महेंद्र कपूर साहब आई रिमेम्बर नो आई रिमेम्बर मांगी थी एक दुआ बिकॉज इट फॉर वंस योर फादर्स वॉइस worked very well with yusuf sabin it worked very well in gopi too but yahan bilkul jaise bilkul match ho gaya tha dono ka yeah yeah, yeah. and for a lovely composer ardi barman for me thank very less but uh, yeah ha shakti yeah ardi barman yeah. obviously a great name yeah. uh, one of the gi- true giants of hindi cinema uh, yeah. just a couple of things from you uh, before we get your son in i am very keen to meet him as a young man आजकल आपका मुझे रूटीन बताइए व्हाट काइंड ऑफ वर्क आर यू एंगेज इन आर यू थिंकिंग ऑफ मेकिंग एनी एल्बम्स नाउ दैट यू बीन एट इट फॉर सो लॉन्ग आई मेन भाई आई कीप डूइंग माय आवर वर्क ऑफ म्यूजिक कीप्स गोइंग ऑन एंड एज आई मेंशन विद योर ब्लेसिंग सिद्धांत आई आई आल्सो आई एम गिविंग हिम ऑल व्हाटएवर लिटिल बिट जो मां सरस्वती ने दिया है उतना सपोर्ट जो दे सकते हैं द फादर आई गिव हिम आई डू लॉट ऑफ शोज I keep yeah. working on some new music all the time, and I will oh, come yeah. out with a different uh, Bulle Shah's album now. I'm just coming. I'm working on one song oh, of Baba Farid, Baba Farid, and. Uh, Achha, like, 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 Yeah, बस बोलते हैं उनके उनके पक्षन पे चल रहे हैं जी और आई थिंक लाइफ इफ यू सी बाय लार्ज लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स मैटर इन इट बिसाइड ओनली योर योर वर्क सक्सेस दैट मैटर आई थिंक देयर आर सो मेनी एस्पेक्ट्स टू लाइफ विच माय फादर टॉट मी ही सेड एट द एंड ऑफ द डे रोहन यू विल नेवर थिंक ऑफ व्हिच ओवर योर हिट फिल्म्स वी विल नेवर थिंक ऑफ व्हिच ओवर योर हिट सॉन्ग्स यू विल थिंक ऑफ द पीपल हु लव्ड यू मोस्ट you think of the good deeds that you did you will think of the things that matter to you as a human being so Indeed. those are the culture those are the things that he imbibed in us and of yeah, course right. you know, even siddhant was very close to my father acha i got married married very young so my 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 son also had an opportunity to you know be with his dad for a good amount of time That's and uh, they should sit down together and chat for hours together so culture jise bolte jo ek sanskar hota hai sanskriti इससे भाई माँ बाप के और कोई दे नहीं सकता बच्चों को जी और वी आर प्रिविलेज्ड Uh, we lost dad very early of course he was just 74 when he left us right uh, mom stayed with us for about 10 12 years after that then we lost her. just covered we lost her too Achha. and uh, but uh, we are blessed that my parents had besides all our work all our glamour all our music everything that love and affection that people give us there is a little bit of that uh, that over there like our uh, religious sanskriti a मेरे घर में देर इज अंग ऑफ रिलीजन ऑफ यू नो संस्कृति विच आई थिंक मैटर टू वॉज अ लॉट एब्सोल्यूटरफुल सिद्धांत इज अराउंड आई वुड लव टू टॉक टू इम नाउ इजली टॉक टू यू मैं भाई I found out about your uh, ambitions to become I mean you already are a composer. Tell me a bit about it how you started and what what kind of music do you sing or compose right so i actually i started quite early so i i was uh, um i started at the age of 16 i started 
composing professionally and uh, i was lucky to get some good opportunities which kept me going and uh, you know some uh, some good projects that i could work on and uh, you know try to put my talent ahead yeah uh, what kind of music do you personally like i mean given your age obviously it will be far more eclectic than a lot of others right 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 yeah it's actually very difficult to answer that question because there's so much of you know there's so much good music around and so many different types of music and uh, uh, i think also coming from bombay uh, and from the family that i belong to i've been exposed to so many different styles of music and i somehow enjoy a lot of them like at different times i enjoy each style so uh, it's a bit difficult to answer like from uh, the house of course i've heard so much of classical uh, hindustani music and uh, uh, you know from dada as well as from dad and uh, dad actually also enjoys a lot of the english classics so i've heard a lot a lot of elvis presley and tom oh, jones because of him. yes oh, really nice nice and, and then when i went to college i had a lot of friends who would uh, listen to rock and make me listen to rock and i used to enjoy it as well so uh, i don't know like the the I think the variety is it's a, it's a big range yeah it's a big range yeah it's, it's a big range yeah i'm curious about uh, your uh, is is there something that you can share with me in terms of your composition or a song that or you could maybe send me a clip that i can play at some point when i run the interview uh, is sure, it absolutely. an album or it for a movie what is it so i mean uh, at the moment i'm i would be most excited to share my last music video which i released uh, which is called beparwah Oh, and, wonderful! Uh, right, and this was a, a, a beautifully written poetry by uh, Ruskin Bond. Oh, and, how nice! Uh, so it uh, that sounds fascinating. Yes, and he was uh, kind enough to gift the poetry to me, and he asked me to make some music, and that's what uh, you know brought about this uh, single of mine, which is a music video now. And uh, I took it forward. It was a very nice poetry, which was slum children at play. Mm-hmm. which basically spoke about uh the attitude of slum children and how sometimes we despite having more you know uh, the so called luxuries of life we don't live as much as they live life the, that's so it's true. more about learning from them so uh, i took that forward and i recorded uh, in uh, em studios lemansa studio ah, i sure. recorded with uh, em uh, orchestra there the sunshine orchestra how wonderful right. This is the first time a poem of mine has been put to music. Thank you, sir. Imps of mischief, barefoot in the dust. You know, let me ask you this: as a young musician and a composer. Right. Yes. If you were to cast your grandfather to sing a song for you, yes, uh, what kind of song would you want him to sing, given his extraordinary range? That's that's so true, because uh, you know, uh, as you said, he has such an extraordinary range. He was so known uh, for his patriotic songs, maybe because it's something difficult for a lot of singers to yeah. achieve that kind of a, a, a voice. Yeah. but at the same time i think personally i was i'm always a huge fan of his soft voice yeah so uh, i i love uh, you know my my uh, one of my favorites of his is aap aaye to khayal e dil na shaad aaye it's a great one of hindi cinema's greatest songs in my book Ab- absolutely agreed yeah so i i love the voice that he is uh, brought forward in that so also you would you would want something like that for him I'm I'm guessing that would be one of them I think I would okay. I would do a lot of things <laughs> no, no, but yeah that would be yeah tell me about do you have ambitions to be a full time composer for hindi cinema or you're already doing it so uh, um I actually studied uh, music composition in trinity I did my masters in music composition from trinity college in london oh I see right and I've I've also uh, uh, most of my younger years I've Uh, studied hindustani classical in india so uh, with all of that i have uh, somehow i've got a lot of opportunities from uh, you know overseas from outside india oh, that i have nice. been exploring over the years right so uh, 
I mean, I've I've done uh, a, a couple of shows as well. There was a show called Miss Marvel, uh, which you've oh, probably right. heard yeah, of. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Mm-hmm. Right, so that had some of my music featured there. So, oh, I, I didn't know that. Congratulations! That's 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 a yeah. great platform for you. Right, so that was that's that's why I've, I've been lucky with some good opportunities along the way. But at the same time, I would love to work even for uh, you know projects in India. I feel like the the uh, you know the music, everything in India is changing now with OTT coming in, and uh, you know the entire. Uh, the entire way of people looking at art is changing the mainstream music is also changing Absolutely. so i'm quite interested in that uh, change so i'd love you know, to just, uh, work on yeah that not true you know it strikes me there is a, a fascinating biopic waiting to be made on the, your grandfather it could be a, such a <laughs> wonderful musical uh, absolutely uh, there are enough hooks in his career I, I, look at it this way yeah. uh, right. he came of age when giants like from Manna Day to Kishore Kumar to Mahmud Rafi to Lata Mangeshkar to Talat Mahmood, uh, they were already well-known names because he was younger to all of them. And yet he left such a remarkable stamp on the Hindi cinema building. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. It, it, to, if I had the means, I would make a biopic of that kind. Uh, Kishore Kumar, somebody <laughs> is already making, for instance. I've heard about uh, that, yes. Maybe you should, the two of you, you and your dad should consider that. Someday, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, some, a, yeah. no uh, it, uh, what we'll do is, uh, uh, if, if you are in the process of doing another album or a song or some interesting project, yes. do let me know. We'll do a little extra segment for that. But uh, this was wonderful. I'm glad I was introduced to you and I would love to hear more. In fact, uh, I, I would just like to mention offhand that there is uh, another album of mine releasing. Uh, actually, it's releasing tomorrow. Oh, tell uh, me, tell me, tell me about that. Sure. So what's the yeah, name? So this, is, uh, this is called Gateway to India. Okay. This is a collaboration, a very, very special collaboration. This is uh, a collaboration with uh, a gentleman, a composer from London who's called John Ashton Thomas. Okay. He is... Uh, He's, he was a legendary uh, composer. He's right. worked in some of the greatest films of Hollywood. Right. And um, uh, so we worked on this collaboration. We worked, uh, you know, we worked through COVID on, on these tracks. I see. And uh, I mean, he was back in London. I was here and we were working on video call. And uh, unfortunately, in the middle of our uh, collaboration, uh, I got the news that he, he left us. So, uh, oh, yeah, so, but then, uh, you know, because the music company and myself as well, we were also attached to him that we decided to somehow get everything together and release this as a tribute to him. Oh, so, that's terrific. Uh, well, congratulations. Uh, when when it is out, send me a link. I would love to play it. Surely, surely okay. I'll share that with you.